Hello, today we're going to have a look in this area. As you can see, this is still running. This one uh, sometimes goes out of sync. It's quite cool how it seems to drift around. Uh, you can play synthesizers and stuff over here. But we're having a look at this today, which was made by Melanie Cat King. And uh, this is uh, half of it. It's a rotating disc. It's a little bit dark over here, but you, you'll see it. Uh, this spins around. It's made from uh, resin, and it's got uh, some pigment in it that glows in the dark, glow in the dark pigment. And when you fire a laser at it, uh, this is out of our out of eyesight. It's a good nine feet up, so you know there's no chance of getting dazzled. Uh, but uh, if you fire at it, well, it glows in the dark. Uh, this is a very similar premise to uh, this machine right here, and uh, both of them. Don't worry, they've got uh, their the lasers are firmly stuck in place. I check this one all the time, and I'll be checking this one as well. So as this spins around slowly, well, it acts like an analog oscilloscope. Uh, it's got over here, it's got a similar, it's got a quite a common kind of school crafts kind of setup over here. You may, re you may have done this before. It's basically a speaker inside a uh, tin uh, with a swimming cap. This one's a swimming cap on top with a mirror on it. And then there's a laser pointing towards it. They're both bolted in place on this shelf. And as, that, as the speaker makes sound, well it vibrates and makes a pattern and then it sticks and stays on this slowly rotating uh, disc and it's called, uh, uh, Melanie calls it the oscillograph. It's made, it was made initially for an art piece called the Pulsar Oscillograph where it was playing uh, pulsar data as sound in, a, in an exhibition. Uh, there's a video uh, Melanie's done on this just now. The link is below if you want to watch more about it and watch her having a chat about it. But right now I figured we should uh, give it a play and I'll show you some stuff. By the way, it's wired directly into the output of all of these things. So for instance, if you come over here and you do this. I'm sure people are like, oh, you should check out Jerobeam Fenderson and all these oscilloscope art things. Yes, there are those things that exist, but this is an analog um, alternative of something like that. Obviously, you won't be able to get as definite and finite things, but this is more just to show the sort of a function in a mechanical kind of way, because this is literally a rotating disc, which is acting as the, uh, the scan line, basically, and a laser and a speaker. So, you know, in a way, it's, it's uh, sort of acting like a, yeah, very analog, um, well, CRT screen in a way. It's quite strange. Anyway, let's have a closer look and we'll make some patterns, shall we? So yeah, that's Melanie Cat King's Pulsar Oscillograph. You can see that, you can even see it this weekend if you come into the museum this weekend or any weekend, it'll be running and you can play any of these things through it. Anyway, this is Melanie having a little bit of a chat about it now. Hi, my name is Melanie King and I'm an artist based in Ramsgate. So I'm a photographer and I generally work with darkroom and analog processes. I met Sam when I nicked a piece of plastic from outside of his garden and used it to make cyanotypes. So we're both really interested in analog and DIY methods of making things. And I think oscillographs are kind of somewhere in the middle of photography and sound. And the oscilloscope's main purpose is to visualize waveforms. So yeah, it's kind of like being in an oscilloscope and I hope you find that really interesting. You can find out more about me on my website, which is melaniek.co.uk and on Instagram, I'm Melanie Cat King.
tripping.